Rio sucks in this man in a tonsured trance. Raw, passionate, petulant. Her, her teeth, cheeks, tent collapsed inward hmm. until the wildcat from them. Melbourne blows his dream. She milks him playfully, and panting, breathless. Uh, paints her face with uh, her spurting cream as she angelically appears off the head. He says nothing. As he gazes down and taps the luxurious air. Seagulls follow the turning wake of the Zephyros as the boat departs Scala Harbor for Icaria. What's that? The sound of a Mercedes engine. Wine's Cleopatra. Never mind, they just sink, uh, sink deeper into the. Uh, the grass, the tall grass is here. This man picks a blue hibiscus and weaves it into her hair. Bees hum <laughs> among early blossoming uh, flowers, wild flowers cascading down the hillside as their former individualities uh, melt in a liquid, molten, cuddling wonder. During the meltdown hug, uh, Earthman feels Cleopatra apprehensive uh, about their passage to Turkey, so he lifts her chin to look into his eyes. Do not fear the alarmic Islamic people across the water. They are simply kind and, and common human beings like us, all born from loving mothers. Uh, well, we'll throw the eating tonight, and uh, when we get to Turkey, I will uh, be with you all the time, even when you go to the bathroom. Shakti will see. Okay. She's not sure, but she feels a lot better anyway. Mm. Mm. They sink low into the grass and uh, smoke. Now, rare uh, ashes. I mean, it's getting close to. They gotta go to something to re resupply. You know. And, uh, Shiva Solomon says, like, we're almost out. And Shakti says, well, then let's get as high as we can and then go straight into the cave. That's some spiritual stone adventure coming. Well, the landscape is biblical around here, for sure. Vibration, the cave where John had his revelation halfway up the mountain, between the port and the monastery of Christodolus. Walking lazily uphill, hand in hand, they arrive at the uh, convent of the apocalypse that safeguards the cave below, and a beautiful young one comes out. To guide them to the underground grotto. And they get down there and oh, not good. Huh? Nobody else down here? Just the pilgrims? <laughs> it's a hippie pilgrim to enter the cave, ecstatic and awestruck by the profound spiritual aura. They sit silently in the front row. There's about five rows of Church pews, church benches, hand painted sign in English, no photography, where John had his vision. Okay, another uh, sign. Uh, this is where Procris uh, was his stone death. Mm, mystical. Mm. Uh, aromatic smell of myrrh uh, wafting through uh, from a burnished silver incenser. And Hundreds of those little orange Greek church candles that the Greeks love <laughs> so much in during every chapel, okay? And uh, 
Yeah, on a circular brass a tripod stand. Medieval altar, huh? <laughs> Purple vestment cloth. Huge oversized Orthodox Bible. Refuses the serene sin. 